Hello, happy new week to you. I hope your week has started out just fantastic and you're feeling wonderful and blessed. I come to you to share a weekly word today and this week's word is give just because. Do y'all know we're about to embark upon the season of giving and the Thanksgiving holiday season, the Christmas holiday season? Seemed like it got here fast, didn't it? Well, y'all, people normally expect things during that time of year. So let's start out and, and uh, give a little early. I think last year this time was the late September or early October I had to give to give. And that's where you gave someone a gift and you also gave them an additional gift to bless someone else. You may not be able to do that this year, but if you can, please do so. But y'all, give people flowers while they live. And don't always give them to them when they expect it. You, I just want you to pick one somebody. Make a sacrifice if you have to. And you go without something to bless them. God blesses us every day and we can't beat God's giving. You know, one thing you can do, and it might be to your child. Your child expects birthday gifts. Sometimes we give to our child in over an abundance. But just give them something simple. Just so you know, this is an extra $5 for you. We're going to take you shopping this weekend. And you spend it however you like. You know, sometimes we should be disciplinary for our kids. We should be hard on them. Uh, even your spouse. You know, you know your spouse is hard working. They're doing everything. They're making sacrifices. You say, baby, you know you always take your lunch. I know you like a special sandwich from some shop. Here's $15. Or you go without your little extra spending money and say, I want you to go and have you a sandwich today from your special place. Your co-worker, stop by their desk. If they drink Starbucks, give them a $5 Starbucks gift card if you can afford it. Or take them on a 15-minute break and say, do you have time? Let's go fellowship. Bring you a few extra dollars and say, I'm going to treat you out the drink machine to a drink and a snack, out the snack, out the bending. And just sit down and fellowship with them. Just give to somebody just because, not because they're expecting it. It doesn't have to be a large gift. Even if you just leave a note of a thanks and appreciation, I thank you for being who you are. I appreciate you. You know, sometimes a person can stop by your desk and just give you an uplifting word of encouragement. I just want you to know I thank and appreciate you. And it's not to pay them. It's just to give them a small acknowledgement and let them know that you, you know, think about them. And they're appreciated and they're cared for and they're loved. They're thought about. So I encourage you sometime this month to stop and give to someone. And y'all remember that song we used to sing going around offering if you was raised up in the church. The more you give, the more he gives to you. Just keep on giving because it's really true. You can be God's giving no matter how you try. And I'm not saying give to for God to give you because God is going to bless us regardless. We woke us up this morning. You know, but watch God just bless you more and more abundantly the more generous and giving that you are. So, y'all, I encourage you, please, just give to give. Give to someone. And it doesn't even have to be someone you know. You can just give to a stranger in the form of paying for the drive through meal or any, any kind of way. And don't think about what they're going to do with the gift that you're giving them. Give earnestly, joyfully, and watch God bless you. Y'all know you're loved. I love you. But God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And y'all, let's give just because. Love you much. Have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed week. Bye.